on this video I'm going to show you how to use the filter by now this works with most of the databases and if it doesn't work for whatever reason it will tell you in the info bar so it's standard set to frequency so if you press four five six four one two five press enter or single search it will bring the results in now I can change that if I change that to grid and press search it'll find nothing because I've still got the frequency in the box so if I press SP because it's my grid it will search everything in SP so it should bring up quite a lot of frequencies it should bring up the whole database to be fair so we'll just let this uh, load up yeah 4302 results that's how many is in the database for SP so we're going to change that now to name so say I'm going to put radio in here and this is for the name column so with the grid at SP you can do this for all grids as well you can press single search get it set to name that will bring everything with the name radio as you can see everything in there will have radio somewhere or another okay so you can do this with postcode as well so if I want to press CV1 press single search you must remember you've got to change the filter that's basically it for what you want to do if you've got a frequency in there and it's set to postcode it won't work it'll error but it will just tell you as you can see it's um, give you the information here as well and that's it that's how easy the filter by search is cheers